Hello, everyone, and welcome to St. John's Anglican Church's evening prayer for October 29th, 2020. I'm happy to have you joining me. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent, according to their prom your promises, declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O oh most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I don't know how to make it not make those sounds. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O gladsome light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light. We sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Psalm 141. Lord, I call upon you, hasten unto me, and hear my voice when I cry unto you. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth, and keep the door of my lips. O let not my heart be inclined to any evil things. Let me not be occupied in ungodly works with those who work wickedness, lest I eat of such things as please them. Rather, let the righteous smite me, and in their loving kindness reprove me. Let not the oil of, a, of the unrighteous anoint my head. While I live, I will pray against their wickedness. Let the rulers be overthrown in stony places, that they may hear my words, for they are sweet. Let their bones lie scattered at the mouth of the grave as when the plowman scatters the earth in furrows. But my eyes look unto you, O Lord God, and you is my refuge. O do not cast out my soul. Keep me from the snare which they have laid for me and from the traps of the evildoers. Let the ungodly fall into their own nets together and let me ever escape them. Psalm 142. I cried unto the Lord with my voice. Even unto the Lord I made my supplication. I poured out my complaints before him and showed him my trouble. When my spirit was in heaviness, you knew my path. In the way wherein I walked, they had secretly laid a snare for me. I looked also to my right hand and saw there was no one who would know me. I had no place to flee to, 
and no one cared for my soul. I cried out to you, O Lord, and said, You are my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Consider my complaint, for I am brought very low. O deliver me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring me out of prison that I may give thanks unto your name. When you show me your loving kindness, then shall the righteous gather around me. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and consider my supplications. Hearken to me for your truth and righteousness' sake. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has persecuted my soul. He has smitten my life down to the ground. He has laid me in the darkness like those who have been long dead. Therefore, my spirit faints within me and my heart within me is desolate. Yet I remember the time past. I muse upon all your works. Indeed, I meditate on the works of your hands. I stretch forth my hands to you. My soul grasps for you as a thirsty land. Hear me, O Lord, and very soon, for my spirit grows faint. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down into the pit. O let me hear your loving kindness in the morning, for in you have I put my trust. Show me the way that I should walk in, for I lift up my soul unto you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee unto you to hide me. Teach me to do the things that pleases you, for you are my God. Let your loving spirit lead me forth into the land of righteousness. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. And for your righteousness' sake, bring my soul out of trouble. Of your goodness, slay my enemies, and destroy all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah beginning with the 11th chapter, the first verse. There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see, or decide disputes by what his ears hear. But with righteousness he shall judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall the belt of his, of his waist, and faithfulness the belt of his loins. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the goat, with the young goat, and the calf and the lion and the fattened calf together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the cobra, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. In that day, the root of Jesse, who shall stand as a signal for the peoples, of him shall the nations inquire, and his resting place shall be glorious. In that day, the Lord will extend his hand yet a second time, to recover the remnant that remains of his people, from Assyria, from Egypt, from Pathros, from Cush, from Elam, from Shinar, from Hamath, and from the coastlands of the sea. He will raise a signal for the nations and will assemble the banished of Israel. 
and gathered the the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The jealousy of Ephraim shall depart, and those who harass Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not be jealous of Judah, and Judah shall not harass Ephraim. But they shall swoop down on the shoulder of the Philistines in the west, and together they shall plunder the people of the east. They shall put out their hand against Edom and Moab, and the Ammonites shall obey them. And the Lord will utterly destroy the tongue of the sea of Egypt, and will wave his hand over the river with his scorching breath, and strike it into seven channels. And he will lead his pe- lead people across in, in sandals. And they will be, and there will be a highway from Assyria for the remnant that remains of his people. And there was for Israel, as there was for Israel when they came up from the land of Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We'll respond with the Magnificat. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For he that is mighty has magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him throughout all generations. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and has exalted the humble and meek. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, has helped his servant Israel, as he promised to our fathers Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Mark, beginning with the ninth chapter, the 13th, the 13th verse, the thirtieth verse. They went on from there and passed through Galilee, and he did not want anyone to know, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man is going to be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him. And when he is killed, After three days, he will rise. But they did not understand the saying and were afraid to ask him. And they came to Capernaum. Capernaum, And when he was in the house, he asked them, what were you discussing on the way? But they kept silent. For on the way, they had argued with one another about who was the greatest. And he sat down and called the 12. And he said to them, if anyone would be first... He must be last of all and servant of all. And he took a child and put him in the midst of them. And taking him in his arms, he said to them, Whoever receives one such child in my name receives me. And whoever receives me receives not me, but him who sent me. John said to him, We saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, do not stop him for no one who does a mighty work in my name will be able soon afterward to speak evil of me. For the one who is not against us is for us. For truly I say to you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you belong to Christ will by no means lose his reward. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin It would be better for him if a great millstone were hung around his neck and he were thrown into the sea. And if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life crippled than with two hands to go to hell, so to the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life lame than with two feet to be thrown into hell. And if your eye causes you to sin, tear it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into hell, where their, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. For everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good, 
But if the salt has lost its saltiness, how will you make it salty again? Have salt in yourselves and be at peace with one another. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We'll respond with the song of Simeon. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of your people, Israel. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Um, before we stand to proclaim the Apostles' Creed, um, today we'll mention James Hannington, um, who was a bishop in East Equatorial Africa um, and became a martyr uh, for the faith. Um, so a, a good thing to, to contemplate. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace in your church and in the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat your Holy Spirit in the communion of James Hannington and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. Collect of the day. Almighty and everlasting God, you govern all things both in heaven and on earth. Mercifully hear the supplications of your people, and in our time grant us your peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, you have given your servant, servants James Hannington, boldness to confess the name of our Savior Jesus Christ before the rulers of the world and wish thy faith. Grant that we may always be ready to give a reason for the hope that is in us and to suffer gladly for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A colic for the presence of Christ. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for the evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way, kindle our hearts, and awaken hope. 
that we may know you as you have are revealed in scripture and the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. Apollic permission. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you. All nations obey you. All tongues confess and bless you. And men, women, and children everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. For an election. Almighty God, to whom we must account for all our power and privileges, guide and direct, we humbly pray, the minds of all those who are called to elect fit persons to serve in the presidency and offices across the country. Grant that in the and offices across the country. Grant that in the exercise of our choice, we may promote your glory and the welfare of this nation. This we ask for the sake of our Lord Jesus, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. For our nation, Almighty God, who has given us this good land for our heritage, we humbly beseech thee that we may always prove ourselves a people mindful of thy favor and glad to do thy will. Bless our land with honorable industry, sound learning, and pure conduct. Save us from violence, discord, and confusion, from pride and arrogance, and from every evil way. Defend our liberties and fashion into what one and fashion into one united people, the multitudes brought hither out of many kindreds and tongues. And do with the spirit of wisdom those to whom, in thy name, we entrust the authority of government, that there may be justice and peace at home, and that through obedience to thy law, we may show forth thy praise among the nations of the earth. In the time of prosperity, fill our hearts with thankfulness. And in the day of trouble, suffer not our trust in, to, in thee to fail. All of which we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In time of great sickness and mortality, O most mighty and merciful God, in this time of grievous sickness, we flee to, thee, to you for comfort. Deliver us, we beseech you, from our peril. Give strength and, and skill to all those who minister to the sick. Prosper the means made use of for their cure, and grant that, perceiving how frail and uncertain our life is, we may apply our hearts unto that heavenly wisdom which leads to eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. For civil authorities, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, send down on those who hold public office, especially those working to stop the spread of coronavirus, the spirit of wisdom, charity, and justice, that with steadfast purpose they may faithfully serve in their offices to promote the well-being of all people. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This is a time for intercessions and thanksgivings. Lord, I pray for your protection um, on all of us. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. 
And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in the believing in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for evening prayer. I hope that you have a blessed evening.